Right, this video goes over demand pull inflation and what causes it, what it means, how we get it, that sort of thing. So with demand pull inflation, we start with our aggregate demand, aggregate supply model. We have real GDP on the x-axis or y. Price level on the y-axis, downward sloping aggregate demand, upward sloping aggregate supply, and all that demand pull inflation really implies is that demand is causing the inflation. So if we have an increase or a rightward shift in aggregate demand, we reach this new equilibrium over time. And if you'll notice, when aggregate demand increases, our new equilibrium level is going to have a higher price level and a higher price level means inflation prices go up inflation is occurring so demand is causing this inflation hence demand pull inflation but what can cause that aggregate demand curve to shift the trick here is to remember the equation for y or real GDP so any change in C, consumption spending, so income increasing or expectations about the future being more positive will change C, cause aggregate demand to shift, will cause this upward pressure on price levels or inflation. Same with investment. If investment goes up, could cause AD to shift, cause demand pull inflation. G or net exports. So if exports go up or imports go down, we see this aggregate demand shift. We have demand pull inflation occurring. So remember, demand pull inflation, not that difficult to concept. Something changes in our real GDP function. We see aggregate demand increasing. It's going to intersect on a new point of the aggregate supply line. It causes this price level to go up. Now this is the short run. In the long run, if you're doing classical economics and not everybody is, which is why I save it till the end, we will move back to our long run real GDP level and the price level will go up even more. So if your book or instructor didn't go over that, don't worry about it. But if you do have both the short run aggregate supply and the long run aggregate supply, that's what happens in the long run.